Hey guys, it's Erin, and I just discovered I'm too tall for my tripod. Here's my light switch. Oh, it's like I have a third eye. So I got a new toy in the mail today, and I'm not even going to lie to you guys, I am really excited about trying this thing out. I got this in the mail today. It is, if I can read over the box like a weirdo, it is a hair straightening brush. It is a digital hair straightening brush. Mine's not pink. So I've seen these reviewed on camera before. I got to be honest with you guys, I was really intrigued every time I've ever seen them, I'm really intrigued because I want to see what these things are like. So I'm really, I'm really happy that I get the chance to try one out because all the reviews I've ever seen on YouTube and on, you know, fashion blogs and makeup blogs, things like that, have always been people who have wavy hair. And it seems to work. For people who have wavy hair, it does seem to work. I will give it that. However, we're going to give it the ultimate dry out today. You guys have seen my hair when it's down. I'm having a bad hair day today, so this is going to make it even better. Washed my hair this morning. It's probably been about 12 or so hours since I washed my hair. Don't have any product in my hair. The only thing I actually have in my hair is this stuff that I put in my hair uh, right after I got out of the shower today. And this is Frizzy's Dry, Cur Dry Curls, Dream Curls Daily Styling Spray. Okay, and I sprayed this in my hair when it was still wet this morning, brushed it through. And 12 hours later, this is why I have my hair tied up in so many videos, because it is summer here now and I'm in North Carolina so it's very very humid and as you can see I've got that going on. My hair's a hot mess because it's the summertime and that's what my hair looks like in the summertime so that's why it's always in a ponytail but as you can see my hair is not wavy. My hair is actually quite curly um, a few weeks ago before the humidity really kicked and I actually had almost ringlet curls so I don't have wavy hair. This one is actually made by a company, I want to say it's called Appaloose or Appalus. Okay, that's the name of the brand, that's the name of the company there, and this is actually their, yeah, their digital straightening brush. Okay, so before we get started, I want to show you guys everything that came in the kit because it's a little surprised there was actually quite a few things that are in the kit. Okay, so first and foremost, we've got the brush. This is what it looks like. Um, just the black end of it. And I don't know what that is. Oh, there's a sticker on the power button. Okay, so without the sticker, this is what it looks like. That's your digital screen there. And it's a nice rubberized brush. It's actually got a little bit of weight to it. And this is what the, this is what the bristles, I guess you could call those, look like. It looks to me, it's pretty much just blue. It kind of looks like there's bristles sticking out of the top, but there's not. There's actually like black contact points, and then the blue is most of the bottom of it. So that is what she looks like. Doesn't look too frightening, only mildly frightening. Okay, so inside the rest of the kit, we've got, they give you this little nifty bag that you can, you can store it in, nice little velvety bag with little pull strings on the top, easy open just to keep it clean. And of course, if you go ahead and buy this and you're going to utilize this, make sure that before you stuff your brush back in here that it is turned off and it has cooled down because you don't want to blow up your bathroom. The other item they give you is this weird little glove. Uh, I'm assuming that you're supposed to put that on the hand you're not actually brushing with, uh, just to keep it from burning. Let's see how fashionable this is. Oh, oh, so fashionable. It's so fashionable. It's got these rubber fingers on the top. And then you can totally see my hand through the rest of it. But there you go. So fashionable. So fashionable. Yeah, that's me, fashionable. And also inside the kit, you get these mildly scary looking clips. There's actually two of these in there. And this is just 
I don't ever use things like this, so this is just to hold back larger chunks of hair, and it... I don't know why. If you're a hairdresser, explain it to me. <laughs> okay, so let's get this party started. Okay, like any good consumer, we're going to go ahead and read the directions. So, there's a lot of directions. Okay, so here's where we are as far as all the parts of the brush. What the brush would look like if mine had been pink. <laughs> and let's see. Okay, specifications, features, instructions for use. Ensure hair is dry and comb through. My hair's dry. <laughs> Let's comb my hair out. And this is why I don't need a wig for Halloween. Yeah, you think I'm kidding. I actually don't ever buy wigs, almost ever buy wigs for Halloween. Because <sighs> who needs a wig? I have curly hair and a brush. Okay, let's go back to the rest of the instructions while you gaze upon my hideous hair. Um, oh, I guess I should plug this in first because now we're, we're on to turning on the power. Hang on a second. Okay, everything's plugged in. Let's go back to the instructions. Okay, so it says to press, press power switch for three seconds to switch on. And there are your switches. So let's do one, two, three. Oh. There we go. It looks like it's on and you guys can't see it, I don't think, can you? Uh, kind of. There's your temperature reading coming in and the temperature is rising. Okay, let's see. Press the plus minus key to set the desired straightening temperature to convert centigrade to Fahrenheit, yada, yada, yada. Uh, power switch, power switch and heat up down keys will be locked in five seconds when the brush is powered on. Double click the power switch to unlock the keys. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, it's just, that's just the safety. Separate the hair into several sections. I guess I'm going to use the clips. This is going to get even more interesting. This smells like it's burning. Because what's the point of YouTube if you're going to look normal? Okay, I have separated my hair into my my little... I don't know what's going on here, but it's it's very fluffy. Is that... Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm ready for my close-up. There we go. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Make sure your hair gets into the inner area of the brush. Hold the hair end firmly and brush in a slow pulling motion from root to tip. Repeat as necessary. Allow hair to cool down before using other styling application. After use, press, bleh, press, why can't I say press tonight? Press power switch for three seconds to switch off and unplug the appliance. Please wait until cooling down to pack up the hair straightener brush. Okay. Look, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I never straighten my hair. I have never done this before. Back when I was like 17, 18 years old, I actually used to bleach the fronts of my hair. I think I mentioned that before. But I used to go to a salon to get that done. And I went to the same woman all the time. And she had this thing. She loved to straighten my hair. She loved it. So every time I went in there, she would straighten my hair without asking me. And she'd usually start in the back. So really couldn't, there was no going back at that point. So that's the only time I've ever had my hair straightened and I've never actually done it myself. So you're witnessing a first. So let's give this a so ladylike. Let's give this a try. Um, let's see. We have the temperature setting guides. Auto constant temperature at 365 Fahrenheit for delicate colored fine hair. 180 degrees Celsius. Guys, I think I'm going to put that there because I know you can't tell 
like this, but my hair is actually very baby fine. So, let's see what we gotta do. Okay, so we're going right back to my camera deciding it's not going to do this anymore. Um, my camera just shut off. Um, so let's see what we gotta do here. It, says, it doesn't say how much of your hair to grab. I've got a, a, a sizable chunk and I think I'm just gonna start right here. Whew. Okay, here we go guys. Oh, that is really hot. Okay, it says to hang on to the ends of your hair. So I'm just gonna grab this whole chunk and we'll go from there. So it says that to hang on to the ends of your hair, which my ends obviously are down here. Oh boy, that's really hot. I don't blow dry my hair either. In case you guys are wondering, I, I don't, oh my God, I don't use heat on my hair. Oh boy, why am I doing this? Okay. Oh, why did I agree to do this? Okay. Oh my. Okay. I'm gonna, oh boy, I'm gonna burn my ear. Okay, I'm gonna do it like this. Oh, you can see all my gray hair. I am so afraid to get this any closer to my head and I'm really checking. Look at that, guys! You guys, it's actually... It actually seems like it's working. Like, my hair isn't pin straight. My hair isn't, like, pin, pin straight. But it's actually... It seems to actually be working. Huh. Wow, okay. Okay, my hair, and I'm, I'm not going to blame the brush on this, uh, my hair is naturally frizzy. It actually feels kind of soft right now, but I'm, I'm getting some frizz going on. Um, the frizz is still winning. Let me see if I can. And I've seen people quell that problem with um, uh, flat irons, which I don't own. And I'm not seeing any hair loss, so I'm not burning any of my hair off. As you guys can see, there's no smoke or anything like that. So I'm not actually burning my hair off. My problem is I'm afraid to bring it up here. I've got to kind of... Woo! Okay, I don't want to keep brushing my hair because it's really hot and I'm afraid I'm going to burn it. But... I don't think that's too terribly bad, guys. You'll have to forgive me. I'm using my camera as a um, as a mirror, which is weird because I've got this giant mirror behind me, but for some reason it's easier for me to see it here. Hang on. Okay, so here's the thing. I actually just took a look at it in the mirror. My hair is straight, okay? Um, it has straightened my hair out pretty well. Um, don't burn that. Don't set that on fire. Okay, so as you guys can see, it has straightened my hair out pretty well. Okay, it hasn't done anything for my frizz. Okay, here's what my hair looks like. And this is another reason why I don't straighten my hair. Um, as you can see, when I do this, it kind of highlights the fact that my hair is baby fine. So it's straightened it. Okay, and it's definitely, I'll give it kudos. As curly as my hair is, I will give it utmost kudos for the fact that it actually did remove the curl from my hair. What I'm not seeing is a removal of frizz. So this isn't, this wouldn't be a functional look for me. Um, I can tell you that just by seeing how frizzy my hair actually is, and I'll do, I'll do a little bit of this for you, but by seeing how frizzy my hair actually is still at this point, if I go outside, <laughs> If I were to go outside like this, um, my hair would curl right back up and it would be, it would be three times the size of my head. So this is not something I think that is going to continue to work for me. However, it may work for me in the winter time. Um, 
right now it is hot and humid and today isn't even all that humid i think it's like it hit like 81 degrees here today um but the rest of the week it was in the mid to upper 90s and the humidity was just out of this world today it was actually almost comfortable almost not completely but almost comfortable um so but my hair did frizz today my hair i like i said i washed my hair early this morning um i styled it using just that frizzy stuff which doesn't work and i went out about my day by the time i came back my hair looked terrible i was actually nice and curly in the back i had ringlets in the back and then in the front it was just it was just a wall of frizz um so i don't know if it would do anything for that but i am actually going to be brave Okay, so I went ahead and I just finished off my hair. Um, I have straightened my hair. This is the straightest you're ever going to see my hair. Final verdict. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I actually kind of like it. Um, as you can see, my hair is very frizzy. Um, this is this is what the rest of my hair ended up looking like. Okay. Um, I will try to include a photograph in here of my hair actually like styled and not out so you can see what it looks like and I will post that right here. I think personally that this thing actually did a pretty good job of removing of removing the curls. Okay. Now as far as the frizz and all, I don't expect it to take care of that. I know a lot of like I said earlier, I know a lot of people use flat irons and all to take out some of their frizz. That isn't gonna work for me. Um I do have very frizzy hair. Um, it's just, unfortunately, that's just the way it is. Um, I don't think this is going to hold up on me. Again, this all has to do with frizz. Okay, I've got high humidity area. I've got extremely curly hair. And that usually amounts to a high amount of frizz. So while it did actually straighten my hair out, um, it is, even as this video is going on, you can see it's starting to grow. Um... So, does it work? Yes, I think it does work. Um, I think it's going to take some pa some practice. I think it's going to take a lot of patience. Um, it is very slow going. It's not like just brushing your hair. It is very slow going. Um, it's not uncomfortable. Uh, like I said, I did hit my hand with it. I did hit my ear with it. I did hit my scalp, and um, I actually hit my face over here when I was doing it before. And it it's warm, obviously, but it didn't burn. So it seems like it's a very safe product. Um, it does do the job. Uh, you just kind of have to, I think there's a learning curve. I'm actually curious to know if, um, I know that there's some products that you can get for like when you're straightening your hair that's supposed to help with the frizz and all. And I'm kind of wondering, I don't own any of that. Like I said, I never straighten my hair. So I don't own any of that. But I don't know if that stuff would actually assist with it because I don't know if that stuff works. I don't know what it does. I don't know if it works. But I think there's some, there's some products out on the market that are supposed to help to sleek your hair out once it's been straightened. Okay, everything after this point in time is going to depend on your type of hair, your hair products, the temperature, the weather, um, how much humidity is in the air, how little humidity is in the air, all that kind of stuff. So none of that's going to really weigh on the brush itself. I feel kind of like I should be in a, the lead singer of a rock band, but it's fairly comfortable. My hair cooled down very quickly. It's already very cool to the touch. It's quite comfortable. Um, my hair feels pretty soft. So yeah, I would, I would use it again. Personally, I like it. I definitely recommend it. Um, I think it would be extremely useful to somebody who has wavy hair or um, like light curls things of that nature. If your hair is a little thicker, it may not work perfectly. You might have to find the right combination of that thing and the good product, um, something along those lines. But in all honesty, it works. It straightened my hair out. I'm definitely going to keep this thing. I'm going to use it again and I do recommend it. So I would give it a try. You can actually purchase this item on Amazon. I will post the link below. If you've tried this, if you've go ahead and buy it and try it. Let me know how it worked out for you. Um, you know, let me know what kind of hair you've got. Let me know if it worked out for you. Um, I think it did work for me, but I'm probably only going to use it in the winter time when I've got a little less frizz. And I might be going out and buying some of those products for um, hair straightening to see if maybe 
I can improve this because this is kind of, I don't mind this. It's a nice new hairstyle. And unfortunately, with as curly as my hair is, there's only two hairstyles you can do, up or down. And that's pretty much it. This would be nice for a change once in a while. And it really didn't take all that long. I guess it took me about, it only took me about 20 minutes to straighten my whole head. So, and I don't know if that's good, bad, or indifferent because I don't straighten my hair like I said before, but I would assume doing the brush and the blow dryer thing like this constantly is probably going to be about the same, maybe a little bit longer, and it's going to depend on how long your hair is, too. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye, guys. Oh God, guys, it just keeps on growing. You can make a horror movie about my hair.